My vision was blurry, but I understood that Kyosuke was right beside me. I stretched out my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Rip Nehru! And he held onto it. <laughs> you got the clap. His hand was so somehow different from Masato's. Softer. <laughs> it's okay. You can rest for now. <laughs> it was something that happened all the time, so I didn't apologize. Since it was Kyosuke and everyone else, I didn't feel like a nuisance. They were reliable. I rested for a while and left my room to have dinner. Whether he had been waiting for me or was just returning from somewhere, I ran into Masato. Oh, you're gonna eat? I'll go with you. That's okay. I can handle that much by myself. Okay. Well, I'll see you later then. He went into the room. The wind was refreshing. This is the best time to enjoy the evening breeze. Just as I stepped outside the door, I saw familiar people standing near the bench. Rin and Kud. It was unusual to see them together, so I approached them. What are you doing? Riki, you okay now? I'm used to this, so I'm fine. Oh, she has a cat on her head. <laughs> Linen! So, what are you up to? Nothing in particular. Good evening, now, Isa. Rin was holding a cat in her arms. Its name was Audrey, I think. Many more cats were rubbing against her legs, seeking her attention and purring. Do you like cats, Kud? I love them, but there's another animal I like even more. I see. What's that? Actually, I think I know the answer already. Really? Try to guess it then. Dogs. Hell yeah! What a quick answer and absolutely correct, too. Well, yeah, thanks. Looking at her, it seemed like she belonged to the same species. <laughs> Do you own a dog? At home. Oh, I mean at my grandpa's place. I, I'm keeping a lot of them there. Eh, really? My best friend should be around somewhere. I haven't met them yet. What do you mean? Strelka and Belka are at work, I think. At work? They may be keeping guard in the daytime and at night. If they're at work, I shouldn't bother them. Those two were clearly names of watchdogs. Come to think of it, I he I'd heard something about disciplinary committee members getting themselves reliable partners for patrolling around the girls' dorm. I have met them. Ah, I see. If you see them again, please tell them that Kud wants to meet them. Alright. Do they eat mon petit? I wonder. I don't think they have any strong preferences. Are you going to convey it to them through mon petit, Ren? Translation, mon petit. She said while taking out a can of cat food. It won't translate anything. Well, I'm off then. Ah, oh, great time. Bye-bye. <laughs> she walked away holding the cat in her arms. Where's she going carrying a cat? Probably to see a vet. The cat hurt its hind leg. Oh, I see. Rinsan couldn't get near the cat no matter what, and she didn't know what to do. And that's when I happened to pass by. And fast as lightning, you caught it? No, no. She waved her hands in denial. I exploited a tray all cat share. This is how you do it. She took a paper bag that lay on the bench and placed it underneath it. I'll leave it here. And? A gust of wind blew and the paper bag made a rustling sound. At that instant... Kaza, kaza, kaza. 
<laughs> and there you have it. I don't really get it. Well, wait, a cat just went inside the bag. <gasps> Cats love paper bags and tote bags. And why is that? Because they like cramped places? Um, uh, maybe they think it's prey? And also, when it makes a rustling sound, they can't help but slip inside. And that's how we caught the injured cat. She nodded emphatically. I see. So that's why you were with Rin? I could show my gratitude to her for the early spring with this. She looked delighted. Well, I gotta go too. Okay, see you, Kud. Yes, bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> her mantle swayed about as she left. I saw her off. The cat and the dog, huh? That really was how Rin and Kud appeared to me. <laughs> go! My stomach growled loudly. I should go grab some dinner soon. The tension's running high now. Let's finish up today with a blast. Once again, Kyosuke came over when the night fell. Despite being a student, he's quite a night person. Just what you'd expect of Kyosuke, isn't it? Can it be you're going to make Rin search for members again? Of course he is. Kengo replied in a tired voice as he sat down. But we've already got plenty of girls on the team. Isn't it enough? Hmm? Ah, now that you mention it, you're right. But Rin's overflowing with enthusiasm and is already standing by in front of the dorm. But isn't she, like, the only one overflowing with enthusiasm? Then let's change it to a different mission. Rin, can you hear me? Over? Don't say over, over. Starting today, the mission's gonna change. Rumor has it there's a mysterious life form roaming the school building at night. Oh no. Among the victims were teachers on night duty. What is this? Rin, you must get rid of that dangerous creature. Mission start! No way, over. Go, over. I'm scared, over. By the way, according to the teachers who were on night duty, Boiled fish cans have been disappearing in large quantities from the emergency food store. <laughs> there was no answer, but obviously she was listening intently. If we defeat the culprit, we might obtain some. Alright, I'll do it! Thought I'd say something like that, stupid- Thought I'd say a stupid- Thought I'd say something like that, stupid growl! Now I'm even more scared than before! Over! But it's canned boiled fish we're talking about, the favorite food of cats. They surely would be happy. They sure would be happy. All right, I'll do it. Rin, you really will? Mm. <laughs> Hostility. Uh. Mm. What should we do? Mm. Should uh. we watch calmly or stop her? Uh, I'm guessing this isn't a choice that matters. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, do we want to watch the antics, or do we want to maybe try to spare Rin? Hmm. <laughs> she already lost once today. Should we let her lose again? <laughs> I think we should stop her, probably. Yeah, let's stop her. All right. No, you don't need to do that anymore, Rin. I shouted into the phone. This is going to be dangerous. A few guys have already been hurt by it. But the cans! I'll give you some. Okay, I'll be right back. Over. What a snap decision. She was really doing it just for the cans. Say, what could that mysterious life form be? No clue. Kengo got to his feet. Thanks, Cajun, for the 4,000 more points of the challenge. Huh? 
What's wrong, Kangoji? I can't let this go on. It's unacceptable that other students are getting hurt. We could hear his determination from his words. He was going to destroy that monster. <sighs> Mr. Do-Good. After Kango left, Ren slid into the room and sat down next to me. Give me Mon Petit! No, I don't have them right now. What? Look, Kango's battle is starting. Hey! Community challenge 25% complete. Thank you so much, guys. Woo! Wow, I can't believe you guys raised that much that quickly. <laughs> How can you tell? I thought this might happen, so I prepared a separate mic that's on a different power supply. Let's switch over to that one. We listened intently to the sounds coming over the modified cell phone. Oh, unknown oh. life form. <laughs> Kango's about to punch a ghost. Literally. Oh, and he has his, uh, his shinai. Yeah. Unknown life form. It's a bird? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. And another hit. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, hi. Oh, that was a lot of damage. It was. As, oh, oh. As long as Tango can hit. Oh, he's oh. healing himself. That's right, he has that healing item. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no! no! Oh! It was so close! Does that mean Kango goes down in rank? I don't think so. <sighs> to think that even Kango Willy Kishina would lose. It's beyond all expectations. Huh? Did somebody just call for muscles? <laughs> nope, nobody did. Call that! There's a real brawny guy right beside you! Do whatever you want. Yeah, no need for words. I'll bring it down for sure. Don't forget the backup mic from Kengo. Okay, just be sure to watch my battle closely. Masato headed for the darkened school. He's about to lose too, isn't he? Yeah, probably. In his place, Kengo returned. Oh, what a disgrace. There, there. You did your best, okay? Here's a cup of jelly, so cheer up. Oh. After being consoled by Rin, he was on the verge of tears. <laughs> Alright, Misato's battle is starting. Alright, here we go. Who am I? Who am I? Ricky's notes. Alright. Exactly. Let's do it. He's gonna punch a bird. Well. Or die trying. Yeah, die trying is the best way to say it. Oh, all right. He's doing as much damage yeah, as Kengo. Yeah, but so did <laughs> Kengo did it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, yo. The bird. Okay, Masato. Okay, we see you. Even Kengo couldn't beat it, but Masato did. Hell yeah, you saw that? I mean, you heard that? It's lying right over there. I brought it down! Any TV crews here yet? Hey, TV stations. Masato's delighted boasting barked endlessly over the cell phone. Just how happy can he be? I think he even surprised himself. Hey, somebody, somebody bring on the reporters, you hear me? I remember everything that's happened. I can retell the whole thing in detail. Somebody call the... Let's get to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and thus the incident was over. And so the night went on. Oh boy. Alright, May 19th, Saturday. Well, there aren't any important decisions for a while. Yeah. So, today's Saturday. Yep, today is Saturday. Yeah. Everyone besides me glared at Kyosuke as if he'd said something overly obvious. <laughs> Classes will be over at noon. We can all we can go all fi out to find members this afternoon. Everyone did their best to ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> Riki, I love you. <laughs>
His sudden words broke my composure and I turned to look at him. He's not the only one whose composure is ruined. <laughs> Have I ever had composure? I think this whole night's kind of broken me a bit. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, oh god, we lost Nehru. As expected of you, you're amazing, Riki. Oh god. Take note, everyone. Oh no. <laughs> I realized that I'd fallen into his trap. You're not the only one, Riki. Masato, I love you. <laughs> uh, seriously? As expected of you, Masato, you're amazing. Being so eager about looking for members, I absolutely love you. Uh, Kengo, I love you. <laughs> and I hate you. Uh. Dumped by a guy? You creep me out. Sorry, Rin. Actually, I love you even more. Back off, creep! As expected of you, Rin. I'm saying that's creepy! Don't talk to me! Looks like Masato and I will be the only ones looking for members. <laughs> oh, man. Morning. Good morning, Naoi-san. Riki-kun, you're slow. Is this late? It's this late already! What about you, Segusa-san? Is it okay not returning to your own classroom? According to the clock, it was just about time for class to start. Ah, you're horrible, Ricky Coon. Ostracizing me. Ostracized or not, you're still in a different class and should get back. Eh, it's fine. There's no particular rule that says you have to attend your own class or homeroom. It's common sense, so no one bothered writing one down. I think it's bad to be late. Well, I've even been lectured by little Coon. Has the whole world turned against me? For some reason, she looked pleased with herself. Alright, if it's come to this, I can only turn to you and me! Well, I don't really see what she's got to do with this. As soon as she'd said it, she raised her hand, turning to Kurogaya-san's seat. Anigo! Riki-kun! The seat was empty. Only a book was left on the desk. What do I do with my raised left hand now? I think you can just put it down. <laughs> hmm. What's she up to? She'll be late. Ah, so you do understand the concept. <laughs> Can't be helped. I'll have to take her place. She sat in Kurgayasan's seat. Everything's perfect now, right? All right. Young man, you can start by shouting something like Ayo or Uya to entertain me. She began impersonating her. No, I won't. What? I've got no choice. I'll shout Ayo or Uya and entertain myself then. Ayo, Uya. <sighs> Filling in for her, and I end up enjoying it to the fullest myself. <laughs> You look like you're having fun. Yep, I am! That's because my breasts go all <laughs> boing boing! <laughs> no, no matter how you look at them, they aren't that impressive. I don't know. <laughs> Without a sound, Kuragaya-san made her appearance. Ah, uh, my amigo! What kind of ruckus are you making in my seat? I am merely keeping it warm for you. Yep, you're a pain. <laughs> but Riki-kun was bullying me to get out of here! Hold on, I just meant you'd be late otherwise. Were you really doing that now, Aisan? Oh no. <laughs> Could, don't misunderstand too. Isn't it fine? For a masochist like Riki-kun, that's a delightful event first thing in the morning. I'm no masochist! Not the tiniest bit! Oh, that's awesome, Ricky. You've got a flower on both biceps. Bracky muscles first thing in the morning? No way. I don't ever want to be in such a creepy situation. It was the usual rowdy morning. The first bell chimed. What happened a lot. <laughs> Ricky Coon doesn't care about me, so I'm going back. She hung her head dejectedly. 
As she was about to leave the classroom, she looked at me. She was waving her hand. I had no other choice but to wave back. She winked at me and disappeared from sight. Man, what a hopeless person. <laughs> That's it for today. All rise. Just as soon as class came to an end, the classroom spunk sprung back into life. <laughs> Kamari. Kamari-san, being on day duty, began cleaning the blackboard. La la la. Ma? Her hand stopped moving. It looked like she couldn't reach the top. No. Uh-oh. She stood on tiptoes, but still couldn't reach. I should help her. I stepped forward. Hey! Pyong bago! She tried to jump, but put too much strength into it, crashing into the blackboard. Furthermore, she blew the landing, banging her head on the teacher's desk. Whoa, are you okay? The whole classroom turned their attention to us. Oh, that hurts. Uh, are you alright, Kamikita-san? A few worried classmates were voicing their concern. Yeah, it hurts, but I'm okay. It didn't really sound like she was okay at all. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. If you asked me, I would have helped. Sorry. Uh, I messed up again. So heartbreaking. She let out a big sigh. Hmm. Uh, Rin. She approached the blackboard in silence and picked up an eraser. Holding it up, she made a jump and swiftly erased the remaining letters. Rinchan, thank you! <laughs> the bell on her head chimed as she dashed off into the corridor. Good God. She ran away again. Well, I'm sure she's just embarrassed. Uh, yeah? She's not used to this kind of thing. Oh, so that's how it is. But... I'm a little happy. Uh huh. She helped me after all. Yeah. I guess Rin was putting some effort into it in her own way. <laughs> I should do something this time to show my gratitude. You're right. That's a good idea. If it was Kamari san, perhaps she would, in her own clumsy way, manage to change Rin's shyness. Break time, which I'd been waiting for, was finally here. Yay. Break time, break time. <sighs> Thanks to all the practices we'd had recently, I was constantly worn out and felt very tired during class. Hmm. My cell phone was vibrating. A text message. Who could it be during class? I was curious, but I'd get in trouble if I was caught. Hmm. Oh, please. I look at my phone in class all the time. <laughs> I'm it's too curious. It's probably Kyosuke. Yeah, it's probably Kyosuke. Gotta see. Alright. What's this about? It's Yuriko. Hmm. I'm free now, so let's have some fun. Ooh. She's free, she says, so what about it? I looked at her. She was leaning on her chin with only her right hand working the cell phone under the desk. I guess it would be impossible to see what she was doing from where the teacher was standing. To begin with, I replied with, like what? kuragaya san glanced down below the desk without changing her posture and typed a reply. Just skip to the part where you run over to young man Masato yelling, Ahyo! And execute the hundred Pegasus strike on him. That is insane. 
Or rather, she must be really bored. <laughs> I sent a reply with my thoughts. The answer came immediately. Alright, I'll send you a wonderful picture then. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! <laughs> I opened the picture attachment! It was something with green and white stripes. The image was small. I couldn't make out what it was supposed to be. What is this? Oh! <laughs> strip panties. Stripe. Good. What is it now, eh? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I just choked. What the hell did she send me? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That was too much for a joke. I texted her back. <laughs> They're my panties, so don't worry about it. Oh! <laughs> What's wrong, Nelly? Have you caught a cold? No. To tell the truth, I just used some paper and a marker. <laughs> oh my god! What a sorry excuse for a prank she came up with this time. <laughs> Another image arrived. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> it was obviously an elbow. It's erotic like this. The picture showed a few lines drawn on a scrap of notebook paper attached to her elbow. The point is to show a little valley like this. <laughs> She's really got too much free time. That's an understatement. <laughs> she didn't stop texting me until the end of class, 30 minutes later. Ooh, I think she likes you. Oh no. You know, we're not going down the Yuiko route. <laughs> nope. 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 You're hot, but nope. It's finally break time. All right. Let's see here. Uh, there's no important decision until the 22nd, it looks like. Mm, go out, or... We did play with Masta last time. We can wander and get a rank up again. <laughs> well. Um... I don't know what happens if you go out. I feel like it has to be different from Wander. Yeah, I think if you go out, you might encounter somebody. Yeah. So, which one? So, just click Wander? Or... Uh, uh, well... Uh. Should we let Naru decide? Yeah. <laughs> Decisions. Um... Let's see what happens when we go out. Alright, All right. sounds good. Oh, hi. <sighs> I met someone I knew at the foot of the stairs. <sighs> it was Saigusa-san sitting on a desk. Saigusa-san, what are you doing? Oh, Riku-kun, yaha! She faced me with her usual smile. There was this chair and desk which are a bit wobbly. I was thinking about replacing them with ones well, from an empty classroom. In your classroom? Yeah. A teacher told me it would be a good idea to exchange them. She hopped down from the desk and heaved it up in her arms. Hmm. Hmm. If we give her a hand, it's gonna end up... It's probably gonna boost her affection up, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Oh, if we wander again, we might meet somebody else. Uh... Do we want to do that, or...? Sure. Alright, let's wander. Sorry. <laughs> nope, see you later. <laughs> I'd like to help you, but I was going to wander. Wandering is important. Please do your best wandering. Sorry. Alright. Let's see who we find. Oh, yeah, it's Rin. Oh, it's Rin. Again. I think the rank is too different. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, oh trade. trade. Sure. Yes. Let's see what we have. Which one do you want to trade? Oh, okay. Um, mm. Which one should we trade? We have Protein, and we have Cat's Puzzle Difficulty 2, and Weight Jacket. Uh, let's trade the Protein. Protein? Okay. We're going to receive Protein. What do we got? Cheerful Tambourine. Oh, we got the Tambourine. Nice. Nice. 
<laughs> nice trade. I can't stop laughing. Friend leaves. <laughs> battle between Masato and Kyosuke. Again? Okay, let's watch. No Heck question. Yeah. No question. <laughs> I want to see him combo with the balloons again. That was so sick. That was sick. I will admit that. Sorry, Kyosuke. I'm only going to sympathize with you this time. <sighs> I never thought to see you here. Again. Alright. I still love his title. Let's Who see. am I? Let's see I? if Masato gets another dumb title. Let's see. My jacket. Mini car. Yeah, what do we get? Toilet paper, oh, toilet paper. and magic hat. Magic hat? Ooh. Well, if worse comes to worse, you may throw it too. Give, I give the green light. Oh, he said that before about the toilet paper. Yeah, he did. Alright. Josuke's ears, ears grow. grow. I was shocked. Josuke's ears grow. Trick fails. Oh, Trick ma <laughs> magician. Writes a hundred <laughs> on a thousand yen bill and then proceeds it. He's doing magic tricks. They're not very effective. Yeah, but this is Kyosuke <laughs> we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> Alright, he learned to perform trick two. Oh. It's getting close. Ten turns left. Oh, oh he oh, got him! Oh, Masato ranks up. Oh, wait. wait, he's still alive. Wait, what? Hey, there we go. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Oh. He must have had like Maybe one that's HP his special left. ability. Probably, yeah. Hey, Masato did it. Hey, he ranked up. This title fits you perfectly. Damn it! Super famous Italian soccer league skilled scout after Masato strength. What? <laughs> Wow, what a title! <laughs> it's even... so long! Super famous Italian soccer league's skilled scout after Masato's strength. <laughs> barely Damn. even fits in the, the screen. <laughs> Kudu Gaia and Komari? Oh, it's a, it's a continue. Let's see what kind of battle they have this time. Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. They're gonna keep their health. You ready to be done? Taiyaki is also tasty, right? Sorry. <laughs> They're battle taunts. All right. A broom Ooh. and a banana. Komari might be screwed. Oh boy. Oh, sweep the legs. Unsuccessful. Yep. Ooh. Oh, is that trap? Oh, Sweep no. the leg. Oh. 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 Oh, it might time out again. Oh. Seven turns. Yep. Perry's. They're wow. Come on, Perry. Damn! Oh, Battle system. Oh, oh, oh! One turn! Oh! Kamari eats a lollipop! Oh! And apple strudel! But the battle's over. Yeah, it's over. Time's up again. Man. Damn. Well, shall we continue from here next time? Huh. It's best like this. Kamari just saved her ass. <laughs> the power of snacks. Literally. Sounds like John's strength right there. Hmm.